This video will help you determine which type of cassette or freewheel you have and what tool you will need to remove it. Hello, Calvin Jones here with the Parts Tool Company. We're going to take a look at the differences between the freewheels and the cassette systems, as well as many variations of each. We'll also help you determine which tool you'll need for removal and installation. Once you have the information you need, we'll guide you to the correct instructional video for your system. If you already know you have a freewheel system and simply need to figure out what tool to use, skip to the time shown. Otherwise, we'll start with the differences between the freewheels and the cassettes. On a bike, it can be difficult to determine if you have a cassette or a freewheel, but this is the simplest way. After you remove the rear wheel from the bike, spin the sprockets backwards. With the cassette, the tool fitting will rotate with the sprockets. With a freewheel, the tool fitting does not rotate as the sprockets spin counterclockwise. Simple enough, but only if you know which tool fittings to look for. We're looking for the innermost tool fittings. Axles and lock nuts are not part of the cassette or freewheel. The innermost tool fitting is the fitting closest to these. This ring has multiple tool fittings, but the innermost is these 12 splines. This tool fitting does not move when we spin the sprockets, making this a freewheel system. The innermost tool fitting here has four notches. It does not move when the sprockets spin backwards, so again, we have a freewheel. Here, our innermost tool fitting is on this lock ring. As we spin the sprockets, the tool fitting spins, making this a cassette system. On these rear sprockets, there is not a visible lock ring, but look close to the axle and you will see the tool fittings. The fitting spins, which makes this a cassette. So now that you know what you've got, let's take a look how the cassettes and free wheels work, as well as selecting appropriate tools for each system. The cassette system separates the sprockets, sometimes called the cassette stack, from the ratcheting mechanism called the free hub. The free hub is built into the hub body. Free hubs permit the driving of the wheel and coasting when you stop pedaling. The outside of the free hub has a pattern of splines that match the pattern of the cassette cogs. The most common free hub pattern is shared by many manufacturers, including SRAM, Shimano, Sunrace, and others. Capricnolo free hubs have eight splines and feature a unique spline pattern that is not compatible with other brands. The cassette stack is secured with a lock ring. Most lock rings have 12 internal splines, but there are exceptions. There are two commonly seen lock ring fittings. One is found on Campagnolo systems, and the other is found on most other brands. The fittings and tools look similar, but they are not interchangeable. Here's a simple way to choose the correct lock ring tool. Look at the brand of the rear derailleur. It can be safely assumed that if the derailleur is branded Campagnolo, you'll need the BBT5 slash FR11. If your derailleur is any other brand, including Shimano, SRAM, Sunrace, or others, you'll need one of the FR5 series of tools, including the FR5.2, FR5.2G, and others. There is also a unique free hub system called an XD driver used by some SRAM 11 and 12 speed cassette stacks with a wide gear range. Similar to other cassettes, there are 12 internal splines at the smallest cog. The free hub has shortened splines with external threads. The threaded sleeve in the cassette acts as the lock ring. This cassette is tightened using one of the Park Tool FR5 series of lock ring tools. There are also some single sprocket bikes that use a free hub system. Most use an external notch lock ring. Use a lock ring spanner such as the Park Tool HCW17 for installation and removal. Older free hubs may lack a separate lock ring. These require two chain rips to remove the cassette cogs. The first cog acts as a lock for the other cogs.
For cassette removal and installation, see this video. Compared to the cassette system, the freewheel is older technology. The freewheel is a self-contained system of cogs together with a ratcheting mechanism. This allows for driving the wheel forward and coasting. Freewheel bodies have internal threads that tighten onto a threaded rear hub. Freewheels are seen mostly on older bikes, on newer entry-level bikes, and on single speed and BMX bikes. Freewheels will unthread with a removal tool that engages machine fittings on the innermost freewheel body. Manufacturers have different tool fitting designs and Park Tool offers tools for most freewheels. However, there will be some older models where no Park Tool is available. Here's how to tell what tool you'll need. Look for the innermost tool fitting on the freewheel. There is either a spline type or a notch type tool fitting. If you have a spline type, count the number of splines. If there are 20 splines, use the FR4. If there are 12 splines, check the brand of the freewheel. If it is a Falcon brand freewheel, use the FR7. If it's not a Falcon brand freewheel, measure the outside diameter of the tool fitting. If it measures approximately 23 millimeters, use the FR 1.3. There is an older Shimano standard that measures approximately 20 millimeters. Park Tool does not offer a tool for this freewheel. If you have a notch type tool fitting, count the number of notches and measure the diameter from outer edge to outer edge. If there are two notches and the tool fitting measures approximately 25 millimeters in diameter, use the FR2. If there are four notches and the tool fitting measures approximately 24 millimeters in diameter, use the FR3. If there are four notches and the tool fitting measures approximately 40 millimeters in diameter, use the FR6. If there are four notches and the tool fitting measures approximately 32 millimeters in diameter, use the FR8. For the procedure to remove and install freewheels, see this video. Hopefully this video helped you gain a better understanding of the cassette and the freewheel systems. If you still have questions, leave them in the comments below. For more information on each cassette and freewheel tool, including the up-to-date compatibility information, visit parktool.com. Thanks for watching this repair help video from Park Tool. We're constantly adding videos and articles here on YouTube as well as our website at parktool.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. And of course, subscribe for the latest content from Park Tool.